Arthur Gossard is a technological wizard. He designs new materials that enable products to run faster, better, and more efficiently. But it is how he builds them that is most captivating. We have a technique where you can build up a crystal atomic layer by atomic layer. So you can make what are basically sandwich structures. The reason for having the different layers is we can create channels that guide electrons or guide light. Gossard sandwiches are built using not silicon, but compounds such as gallium arsenide, resulting in higher performing advanced materials. We deposit the materials by making molecular beams. We heat it up, it evaporates, letting them travel onto a substrate. The technique that we use is called molecular beam epitaxy. There's a lot of design, try, design, try. So it takes time. And some people say MBE stands not only for molecular beam epitaxy, it also stands for many boring evenings. Like so many of our nation's technological pioneers, Gossard began his career at Bell Laboratories. We made the first artificially synthesized alternate monolayer crystals. And we did the first modulation doped structures. These are designed to be super highways for electrons. That is the basis for high-speed transistors and high-speed satellite receivers. Gotzard's work also was a major contribution to the Nobel discovery of a new ordered state of the two-dimensional system of electrons. Now a research professor at UC Santa Barbara, Gossard continues making new, higher performance materials. Our biggest project, and one that's very, very promising, is to grow lasers directly on silicon. So if you can incorporate lasers onto the silicon, then you'll have light beam right on chip with way less loss than the electrical wire. He is also experimenting with other energy-saving methods, including capturing waste heat emitted from electronics, auto exhausts, and smokestacks, then converting it into valuable electricity. Arthur Gossard continues to follow the light and create the stuff of dreams.